And who is this guy? This is Kiernan. Kiernan. Would you like to hold it? No, no, no. <laughs> Would you like to give him a smooch, though? The classic Kiernan. Let's do a photograph. How's that? Kiernan, look at his head. Hey, buddy. All right, here we go. All right, this is what it's about. Thank you, Senator. Well, I want to introduce to you my dear brother, the one and only one connected to our movement. He's not an isolated individual, Pied Piper. He fights alongside us. He's concerned about wealth inequality, concerned about white supremacy, male supremacy, homophobia. He constitutes a grand wave in our movement on the way to the White House. My dear brother, Bernie Sanders. My critics are saying what the argument is that you know Secretary Clinton is throwing out. These are ideas are too ambitious. They can't happen. Yes, they can happen. And I want you to understand what it means. And this is what I mean by thinking big. If we are able to do what other countries are doing today and say that health care is a right for all, if you're unemployed, if you're old, if you're young, if you're rich, if you're poor. What we do is free up millions of people to suddenly go out and do what they want to do. Now, I think any objective observer, somebody who is not partisan on either side, will come to the clear conclusion that the campaign right now that has the energy, that has the momentum, that is speaking and bringing working people in, young people in, is our campaign. What that means is that if you generate excitement, if you bring young people and working people and low-income people into the political process, that means that in November, we're going to have a great turnout, and a great turnout means we retain the White House, we regain the Senate, we elect governors all over this country. has begun tonight is a political revolution. A political revolution that says when millions of people come together, including those who have given up on the political process, they're so dismayed and so frustrated with what goes on in Washington, with young people who before had never been involved in the political process. When young people and working people and seniors begin to stand up and say loudly and clearly, enough is enough, that our government, the government of our great country, belongs to all of us and not just a handful of billionaires. When that happens, we will transform this country. Thank you all very much.